another beautiful day in Fallen Stars. And thankfully, hopefully, today we're one step closer to finding the cure. I'm thinking of summoning everyone to be at uh, the guild hall later today. I've been practicing telepathy and I'm hoping that I'm good enough that I can kind of whisper in all of their heads that I need them to come to the guild hall as soon as possible. Okay, let's just let's tend the garden like we do every morning and then we'll go ahead and get started. <sighs> my bones are still really achy from the venom being in my, my veins, but it's okay. I am sure that this will all be over soon. It feels like a big bad dream, honestly. Uh, oh God. <coughs> uh, uh. Oh, hi. Greetings there. Sorry, I didn't notice you. My my hearing's been really off since the whole venom thing. Mm, that is troublesome, but I am here nonetheless. Um, I came to pick up Heron Puzzle. Oh, awesome! Uh, they'll be excited to see you. I've been taking very good care of them. I had no doubt that you wouldn't do none. No less. The English <laughs> language affected me for a second there. It, it, let me give them one last little, little treat before they head <laughs> off their way. Sadly, I only have one chicken left, and I know that's their favorite. Uh, here, I'll give them this chicken, and then I'll go grab one more for pear. So, how, how have you been? Besides, obviously, the, the wrestling of trying to figure out what's going on. I've been doing decently. I did hear that apparently an individual named Bonnie might be able to look into something for a cure. Other than oh. that, though, I have... Well, I did a bit of training with Kryn, actually. And oh. I've gotten even a, a more and better oh sword. Oh my goodness, that's uh, quite the sword you got there. That it is. I am being rather careful with it. I don't want to <laughs> damage it or anything, but it feels so nice to swing it. It's actually quite a coincidence that you've come over here. I um, was actually about to practice one of the abilities I learned how to do with the magic. I have an ability! I'm trying to learn how to speak uh, telepathically to people. As in the act of speaking to someone in the mind? It, yeah, exactly. Um, here, uh, come on down to my little magic room down here and I'm, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to speak to all the fallen stars and um, tell them to come to the guild hall so that uh, I can share some important information I feel like I learned. All right, then. I'm quite okay. curious. I never thought such a thing would be possible. Um, <sighs> let me be quiet so you may concentrate. <laughs> no worries. Um, I do believe it did. It was that was peculiar, to be honest, to hear your voice in my mind of all things. It was, I thought it would be almost like simply hearing you in real life, but or in person. But it wasn't. But it wasn't necessarily unpleasant. Oh, that's good to know at least, since I'll never really be able to experience it from the other side until I come across someone else that knows it. That actually, that would be rather useful, I do believe. Oh, come puddle, come pair. <laughs> I think this is their first time out of the house uh, for more than just a walk. You have been getting along all right, have you? Um, besides the basics of, you know, being ill, uh, yeah, um, I've been trying my best. Uh, for the most part, just staying distracted helps a lot. Well, you certainly sound, at least vocally, rather decent. So, I'm quite glad. <laughs> Did you two take a dip? <laughs> I cannot blame you lot. I think the main problem I found is um I have quite achy bones. Oh, that is mm, the last time I was ill with such a with such symptoms. It was not pleasant. All right, Pear Puddle. Here we return to your flower garden. <laughs> it was nice housing you, Pear and Puddle. Thank you for keeping me company. I'm sure they'd be happy to do it again. <laughs> but there we are, the guild hall. I guess we should. We shall wait and make and see if it worked on everyone and not just you. Well, I do. I hope it did. Although it could be a uh, distance related, perhaps. That would kind of. Hmm. I see oh, some cool. quests finally got put up on the board. I made it for the townsfolk to be able to have help with things that they can't do on their own. Oh, I see. A thief Elf in the elder bakery. man needs help tending garden. Gregory. 
Thief saw stealing from bakery. Witness is Willow. A thief? That sounds like just the sort of thing for a detective. <laughs> You'll have to go check that out later, then. I shall. <laughs> well, let's stay cozy in the meantime. No Not reason dog? to be uncomfortable, indeed. Oh? oh. Hi. Oh, greetings. Hello? You found the place all right, it seems. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the heck was that? Oh, oh, yeah, right. Um, so I can speak telepathically now. Oh, joy. That's yeah. Awesome. I won't do it without permission unless an emergency. So don't worry. I'm not just going to be like randomly in the deep hours of the night whispering in your mind or anything. That would be preferable. Y yeah, I, I I understand. Oh, welcome. Um, oh, welcome as oh, well. Me hey, Yama. so Sierra. So that wasn't me imagining things. No, uh, you're not you're not imagining things. That was um a, a new ability I have found through witchcraft. Ah, you're still working hard despite everything. I try. That's fantastic. Welcome. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, everyone, take a seat. Um, it's actually uh, Naoma. You know what I'm going to tell them about. I wanted to explain um, what we learned from Willard. Yeah. yeah, the cure. Yeah. Um, you found a lead. Well, we talked. We talked to Willard, and uh, we basically learned that there are two people that could possibly help us with finding a cure. One of which is an old friend. Well, they're both technically friends, but. One of which actually used to be a part of his, like, group of, uh, friends when he was an adventurer, and the other, um, is someone that apparently does not actually live in town, so I thought we could go over there and see what other information he can tell us, and maybe we can find where they live and ask for help? Of course! I mean, I see nothing else that's as prevalent or as important at the moment, so... Awesome. Uh, are, are you both okay with that? Uh, I mean, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Uh, okay, awesome. I don't want to make anyone do something they don't want to do. I know that this venom isn't really affecting all of us, so... Um. We are all stars. I think it is an issue that relates to all of us if any of us are injured or ill. That's fair. Um, well, anyways, um, let's go ahead over to Willard's Tavern then. Oh, um, by the way, I, I built this... Uh, it, it wasn't meant to be a shrine, but it was just a fountain that some of the locals that believe that Nemzi is one of the supreme goddesses uh, wanted to make it a shrine, so... Supreme goddesses? Basically the goddesses that are worshipped by the people the most. Oh, I see. So there's a bit of a hierarchy there. Apparently so. Oh, and it's intriguing. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, oh! Oh, hello. Well, uh, oh, there's more of you than usual. Hello, welcome in, welcome in. Yes, it's uh, it's an entire party. Coming on then, would you like to get the group together? Yes. Well, awesome. Well, what can I do you all for? Um, we were wondering if you'd give us information on where exactly we could find your friends you were speaking of the other day to meet Naoma. Oh, uh, yeah, Bonnie and Wukong. Well, uh, Bonnie's, um... Well, she lives over in the main portion of the village, uh, but you'd more than likely find her over in her shop. It's uh, kind of across from the bank. Oh. Um, and as for Wukong, well, well, to be honest, I, I don't actually know where he lives. He Wukong. tends to kind of go off towards the snowy mountain over to the northwest of here, but uh, I'm not all that certain. If you were trying to get to him, I'd recommend Going over there, uh, maybe calling his name a little bit. Oh, uh, Sake. He loves Peach Sake. That, that'll definitely get his attention here. Wukong is an right. interesting name. Very. Unlike it's related most of the to ones myth. Here. Really? Here, uh, oh, okay. have that. Maybe Peach as a... Sake. Bribe. <laughs> and, uh, okay. tell him Willard sent you. He may respond a bit better to that. So, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's all about, I know, as for finding them. Uh, if you have any other questions, though, feel free. I, all ears. Uh, got it. Um, well, I think, uh, the main question your is, friend, uh, if, uh, oh, apologies. Your no. friend is not hostile, are they? Oh, uh, no. No, I don't believe they are. That sounded uh, kind of Bonnie, hesitant. definitely not. And I, I don't believe I've ever seen Wukong. Uh, well, he, he's aggressive, but uh, <laughs> I wouldn't call him hostile. He probably won't touch any of y'all. I probably. see. Thank you. Uh, I, to be fair, I, I don't know. Um, he's never 
tried to fight me or anyone else I've seen, but he okay. also was kind of standoffish, so. Yeah, you mentioned he claims that he's the strongest, so I assume that comes with some sort of aggression. Yeah, in, in just way. a bit. Yeah, yeah. I'm not too worried. 